everybody. My name is Miss Cat, and I'm a teaching artist for the Van Wezel. Today we are going to reach into our imaginations and make scribble animals like these. You can do this project with your family or by yourself. Do you know what it means to use your imagination? It's to come up with new ideas. Sometimes when you see a blank sheet of paper like this, and I know it happens to me, it's hard to think of a new project. So this project is the perfect solution for that. Before we get started, let's talk about some of the art supplies I'll be using today. Watercolor, paints, and you'll need a paintbrush, a cup with some water in it, and I'm gonna draw with a Sharpie marker. A couple of paper towels will be helpful, and the paper comes from a watercolor pad like this. But keep in mind, you can always use plain white paper, you can use crayons, you can use markers to do the project and it'll work just fine. So now, also, you can pause the video. You can rewind the video if you wanna see a demonstration done over again. But right now, maybe you wanna pause the video so that you can go and get your supplies. Okay, so let's get started. Do you know what I mean when I say we're gonna scribble? It's to draw quickly and loosely. And I'm gonna draw a couple of them here so that you can see, and you can draw along with me. You can have your paper in the portrait position or the landscape, whichever feels most comfortable to you. For this first one, I'm gonna put it in the landscape position. And I'm gonna use kind of loose, swirly lines for my scribble marks. And I'm just gonna start like this. And that's it. Now, I'm gonna use my imagination. I'm gonna look at it in different directions, like this, to see what kind of animal I might see. Hmm. All right, I think I see something. So, the first thing I like to do is add an eye to the animal, because that way, I have a good starting part. So, right here is going to be the eye. And let's see, this is going to be a nose right there. And I'm gonna add some whiskers like that. And let's see, ah, this is gonna be a leg right here. And then coming around here, I'm gonna add a puffy tail. And there's an ear there, and I can see another ear right there. And there's my first scribble animal. So let's try it one more time. I have another sheet of paper ready to go here. I can hold it this way or this way. So this time I'm going to hold it in the portrait and see what I come up with. And you kind of want to keep your hand loose and I'm going to scribble again. Watch this. Woo! I'm going round and round here like that. Okay. So I'm gonna look at it in all different positions. I'm sure you probably already see an animal. Hmm, let me see. I have to kind of look at it this way. And, oh, I see something. Okay, so right here, watch this. I'm gonna put an eye here and an eye here. Do you have any idea what it is already? A dot here and a dot here and some lines there and a line there and watch i'm going to add some additional lines in here and what's happened and there's a little and then i'm going to add i have a turtle so now that i've sketched my scribble animals we're going to paint them with watercolors so now we're ready to start painting our scribble animal here are the watercolors. This is the palette. And up here you can mix colors. I have a cup with water in it. So I'm gonna get my brush nice and wet. And the first area I'm gonna paint, I'm gonna get some blue and I'm gonna put some up here so you can see. Look at that beautiful color. And I'm gonna paint around the eye. And one thing that you can tell about the watercolors, I'm even gonna add some blue in there and there. 
And then I wanna go for a second color. So I'm gonna rinse my brush really well, give it a good bath to get the color off. I may dab it on my paper towel and I'm gonna go for a second color. So since this scribble animal to me looks kind of like a bunny, I'm gonna go in with some brown in there like that. And the more paint that I get on here, the darker it will get. If I add more water, it will become lighter. I'm gonna go up around the ears. Even if it touches a little bit, it's fine. It won't hurt it at all. So I'm going around here and see, I'm almost scribble painting as well, like that. And then I'm gonna add another color in. I'm going to add a little bit of red, but I'm gonna lighten it with more and more water, a lot more water like that. I'm gonna give it a little pink nose down there. And then I'm gonna give it a little pink tail too. Now that it starts to dry, I'm dipping my brush back in the water, tapping that off, getting it dry, and I'm gonna go and I'm gonna give it some detail. So I'm gonna put little dots on it like that with the paint and you can just really have fun with your watercolors. See how I'm doing that? So that had less water on it, like that. Okay, so now let's do the second scribble animal. I'm gonna set this to dry. I'm gonna leave it right there like that. Now here's the other one. Remember, it looks like a turtle. This one I got really excited about doing. So I'm gonna rinse my brush a little bit, tap it on the paper towel, and I'm gonna start with the center right here, and I'm gonna go with a yellow like that. And I'm just gonna go round, round. I'm gonna rinse my brush again, and I'm gonna take some green, and I'm gonna swirl it around. Do you see how I'm blending the colors? And I just kind of get them next to each other like that. And there's my really cool turtle shell. Now I have to think about, okay, what colors do I want for the head? Let's see, let's try this one. There's more blue, but I'm gonna add a little more green. See how I'm blending a color up there in my palette? And that's the color I wanna use for each of the flippers. I can do some more blue in there like that. And I'm not worrying about it. I'm almost doing it the same way I scribbled on the drawing. There's its tail like that. Do its head. And then that I have the colors in there. And if I don't like that, I can swirl that around. I'm dipping back into my paint. And I'm gonna pick another color if I wanna do some dots on it or just some details like that okay and the brush is a little bit drier like that and you can come in see how you can do little details and you can really have fun with your watercolor paints now if you notice right there there's a little puddle you can always take your paper towel and watch i'm just going to press down and straight up and then i could always come back in and add more color if I want, okay? And if I don't like that, watch. It's like using it like an eraser. And I rinse my brush really well, and then I can come back in and add more green and really brighten it up. Could even add green in here. So you can play around with it and use your paper towel on it and see what kind of effects you can get. So that's how you paint your scribble animal. Now that you've finished painting your scribble animal and let it dry, you can share it with family and friends. You could even give it a name, or you could write a short story about it. Before we wrap up today, I wanted to share two books that I think go along nicely with this project. Both books spark your imagination and creativity. The first book is called It Looked Like Spilt Milk by George G. Shaw. The other one is called Beautiful Oops by Barney Salzberg. You should be able to find these books at the library or as a read-along video on YouTube. I've had a great time today making scribble animals with you. I hope you'll tune in for future videos. 
artfully yours, Miss Cat. Take a picture of your artwork and post it on the Van Wazel Facebook page. School time at the Van Wazel. Hashtag artworks anywhere. Thank you.